Um, I am in drag. I was just going to say, let's address the teeny tiny little uh, baby elephant in the room. The drag is on. Well, you know, with you taking, um, are you what transitioning? Do you call it? A gratuitous leave of absence for no reason. Flagrant disregard for work is what exactly. I like to Exactly. Yeah. I thought I would take this opportunity to, you know, just let the people know that you work and- that I'm fucking gorgeous. You like teal eyeshadow? I do. I love it. Love I lo- it. I particularly, I particularly love the way you applied it to your eyes, Miss Mattel. Oh God, thank oh, you. Sorry. You know what though? I used a highlighter, a pink highlighter as a blush. I was like, I'm going to switch it up. What do you mean a highlighter? No pigment, all texture. Like instantly. A, pen, a pen? No, like a powder shimmery highlighter. Oh, okay. I was gotcha. like, I'm going to use it as blush. Instant texture. I was just like, okay, let's powder uh, over that. I had to fix it all. Let me see what's going on texture wise in your face. You're looking very smooth and lovely. Am I really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, wow. I don't try- look like this Sandpaper is- City. No, the foundation looks good, right? Yeah. So this is fabulous. Urban Decay, the Quickie. It's a concealer used as foundation. And I can tell you have not sweated a drop. I have not. Yes. Unlike Dry Matisha. We actually, for once, have a lot to talk about. <laughs> and I'm thrilled because I'm so sick of talking about the weather, bitch. <laughs> Last you podcast, we went through a list. Of, we went through a list of drag Weather. race outfits and said what we liked. Yeah, we we. Oh my god, low, talk about low hanging fruit. Low, low hanging fruit. fruit that's been uh, ripened and um, rotted on the ground. Will you please put my sock on? Speaking of which, oh, low hanging fruit. Yeah, what's going on there? So I can't. I don't have like great flexion in um in my. I just can't put on my right foot, and I have to hold it up a little bit. Oh yeah, so this is the leg. This is the leg. I saw you six day six days ago. Yeah. And you could barely stand. You did? Remember, I came to your house. Oh yeah, you did. I was. But you were like, no, no, that, that was like, that waddle? was like, that was like four days out. Oh yeah, maybe it has been that long. It's gonna hurt your foot. Okay, can I just? Oh no, 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 no. yeah. If you get the if, okay. Oh my god, you see how gray my ankle is? You love that? Love it. <laughs> Thank you very much. I think I can get it from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dry fit, baby. I like like, oh, I love it. Luck of the Irish. Oh, thank you so much. Now, would you have digitally extracted my feces? Because this part I can do. Oh, thank you. Can I have that? Isn't that great? I just want. I just want to shout out. This is Wacky Wacko. I have several. I love this towel. I got the beach towel too. It's amazing. Yep. Seth Bogart, incredible artist. Love him. Mm-hmm. Friend of the show. Boobs. Friend of the pod. So, I see you maybe two days after the surge. Yes. Now we are affectionately calling your surgery your bottom, bottom surgery. surgery, yeah, because it happened below the waist. Yes, yeah. S- Anterior total arthroplasty on the right side. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, so I see you two days after, and you're a bitch. I kind of thought you would be on pain pills, like Saturday. Yeah, yeah. No, they gave me fucking bullshit tramadol. Now what? Tramadol. Tramadol for the doll. It's not for the doll. It's trauma for the doll. It's, it's trauma for the doll. Right. Because there's no pain relief whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm on I'm on a whole cocktail. Of, it's like they took a big um, trail mix and said, here. Yeah. Wash this down with some ginger ale. You'll be fine. Right. It's not great. But um, the procedure these days is so lovely, so streamlined. And never mind the fact that my surgeon continues to be the most sexually attractive man in my... I would. Uh, why would that have changed? Do you think you would wake up from anesthesia and he would be like... You never know. He could be old man winter. Anything could happen. You don't, you're not alive. Right. Well, it happens. You're alive. Well, <laughs> um, you're, you're not, not conscious. awake. Yes. You're not conscious. Um, I don't want you to get naked, but I saw the legs. They do the sutures under the skin. It literally looks like- How do you like know that? You showed it to me. Oh, that's right. I got to show you again. You must have been on pain meds when I was at your house. No, I got to show you. Yeah, this is fierce. It really looks like nothing happened. What would you do if I pulled my pants down and I had no genitals whatsoever? No. What if you, let, no, this is what I want. What if I, sh- you're like, let me show you my scar and you pull on your pants and you are purple dick rock hard and you just don't mention it. Throbbing. Throbbing. throbbing visibly like aching. throbbing. Ooh, heartbeat in the dick. Don't worry about that. I went to my family. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. It really looks nothing. like nothing. nothing. Can you see that in camera too? How do they do? I mean, I guess, I guess modern medicine. Look at that. It's just a little dirt. Wow. Yeah. Pretty good. How much was it? Can I ask? It was with my wonderful Blue Cross Health Insurance, all things be with my cane. Four yes. Four dollars, four fifty. Four dollars. That's a good deal. It's a great deal. It's a must. Five thousand dollars still. It was still five thousand dollars <sighs> my deductible and all that stuff. I know. The anesthesiologist had his own little racket going on. You Oh, mama, the anesthesia is more expensive than the 
the anesthesia uh, Bieberhausen. Yeah. I was like, while I'm in the hospital, I should make the most of it. Shit myself, piss myself, start screaming, give them the whole full English. Right. Do you know what I mean? Oh, totally. Yeah. But how was the food at the hospital? I liked it. Yeah, honestly. I liked it. These people griping about like bad, ho- bad hospital food must have, I don't know, they must live with Gordon Ramsay. And also, the food I get at the hospital is better than the food I get at home. Also, Mary, the hospital is not a place for, to really exercise your gourmand side. <laughs> right. You know what I it's mean? It's not like, the Bacchanal yeah. in Vegas. Well, I had my spleen removed, but that pate was rotten. Come on. <laughs> right. yeah. So what have you got to tell me about? Oh, okay. Oh. So, well, I just, I'm really happy you're healing so well. Yeah. Put that away. It's not that type of pod. Sometimes dead is better. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, since I saw you, I, yeah. in no shock, was in drag almost every day. Um, I had Stagecoach Festival a Friday and a half ago. Now, I cannot get out of my mind the fact that you're not performing in the back of a, a covered wagon. Well, that's it what was almost Dr. Stage- Quinn. <laughs> Medicine woman. woman. <laughs> Medicine woman. Um, so it's hot. I'm there all day. I get to meet Melissa Etheridge. I'm thrilled. I saw the photo. That's She looks great, by the way. Yeah, I go, oh my God, she's on the same stage as me, but she's way later in the day. I wonder, I said, I just have to, if I get a chance... I'm driving by in a golf cart and I see her and I yell stop. And I knew she only had a second. She was obviously going somewhere, but I thought, if not now, when? When is she going to finger bang you? Right. Did she say hi? Yes. And I said, hi, I don't know if you know me. I said, I'm playing the same stage as you let her. My name, my, my, later, my name is Trixie Mattel and I love you so much. And she was like, oh yeah, you always talk about me in interviews. And we, she gave me a big hug. And I just was like, I don't want to embarrass you, but your album, Yes I Am. When I was 13, I literally started playing guitar listening to your albums copying you like that is so sweet you're like i don't know if this is untoward or inappropriate but could you please put three fingers in my hole right yes, now i don't want to ask for a lot but like could you just sing come to my window really quick could you come in my window would you my come window being my, in my anus? window <laughs> meaning my most gay guys call their asshole their their window right the french french doors my for window me. of opportunity <laughs> french doors for some of my, my panic room <laughs> yeah. have you ever seen panic room i forrest haven't. whitaker jody foster Kristen stewart Guess who was supposed to be um, uh, 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 Jodie Foster? Nikki Kidman. Yes. I knew that. You knew that story, that riveting story that stars, t- that uh, Kristen Stewart stuff. Which that, makes a lot of that. sense. It makes a lot of sense because Jodie Foster seemed really unprepared in that movie. I'm just kidding. <laughs> she was great, of course. <laughs> she, I think Nicole Kidman and Jodie Foster, they really got some star power. Yeah, I think things are going to happen for those kids. <laughs> so I got to tell you what else. There's the festival. How was it? Well, you know, the show starts with five costumes. We got the look. Oh, you five did costumes. that one. Oh yes. my God. What so is wrong 80, with you? Why so do you work it's so 11 hard? o'clock at night, 1120 at night, and it's still 87 degrees. It's the desert, Mary. It's still 87 degrees. I'm in there and I'm like, fuck. The music starts. My left ear goes out. First thing. Oh, 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 the, this the, one, no sound. Left ear out. Because, you know, I, I wear those in-ears that block your ears entirely. So all I can hear is this ear. Oh my God. So it completely renders you deaf. And I go, we have to stop. But the show has to be done in 40 minutes or they pull the power. They warned me. They said, we will literally pull the music if you're going I love over. that. Pull it, yank it right out of the wall. Yes. So I go, I guess I'll just go on. So for the whole show, I only had one ear, which was. Mama, come on. You have to, you summon the power of love. You summon the power of You think about the struggle in your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, you yeah. picture like that moment. You just got to let go. Yeah. So I just did what I could. I mean, I heard 50% of the music and I just hope for the best. And there you go. And then the next day I had to get up and drag and do some stuff. 102 degrees that day in Indio. I was in drag in the daytime. Working. Why would, now, why were you in drag in the daytime? It was for a brand activation, which I can't say. But I was like, I love you guys. I love this brand. I love this product. I'm a team player. And I was like, I love you guys. It's it's not that I don't want to do a good job, but yeah. in 20 minutes, it's just that I can't. It's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said so. I'm going to be as like focused as I can because once I start sweating, yeah, we're it's ruined. We can't go anymore. I love that. I but love I had that. the whole thing under 30 minutes, and I was like, thank God. Damn. Then I went over to the Trixie Motel, and everybody who worked on the show at the festival, we all had like a little kiki. Mm. And then I, um, for two days at the motel, we had two pool parties. I waited, cocktail serving for both tray. Little computer. Now, last time I served tables, we had a pad of paper and a pencil. You graduated onto an iPad? They had little um, devices where you key in and you can oh, order yourself. You can order the drinks. And then by the time you go get them, they're already made because you don't have to run a piece of paper to them. What, did they th- what will they think of next? It was so crazy. We had this drag queen called Paige Matthews. Which is the name of Rose McGowan's character in Charmed. Okay, I was going to say, is it a pun? Because <laughs> I don't get it. Okay. And she, at the end of her last number, it's 
Mind you, it's 102 degrees in Palm Springs. People are doing numbers. She did four. At the oh end of the last God. number, she jumps in the pool. Oh, and the audience is in the pool. Everyone's in the pool screaming. She's lip syncing in the pool. It was so magical. Makeup. Uh, oh, she's looked great. She's young. You should you give her a little cleaning fee, I'm sure. We hosed her off. <laughs> you know, but she looked so good, wet, which not all of us can boast that. I don't know. I think I look pretty ravishing with a wet, straight, flat wig over my 45-year-old face. <laughs> <laughs> a four, a, a, well, all these baby queens are in human units. So they're like, oh my God, my hair's wet. You know what I mean? It's crazy. If I get wet. I've been in that pool before. Yeah. There's deleted footage from Trixie you Motel. look like an embryo out of a dinosaur woman or something. Someone left the cake out in the rain. <laughs> it's in my cake. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a fetus. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. It's a honey bun from prison. Ooh. Um, but I got in that pool once and- In drag. Yes. And I was wearing a gown and you can't kick your legs and we have a deep end. Love it. And I almost drowned. There's footage from filming Trixie Motel of me Love. submerged, just just up to poking out of the water, waving help. Nobody helping you. No one people laughing. <laughs> I hear them I hear through the ocean, not the ocean, the pool. <laughs> I hear through the water on the outside of the water <laughs> people laughing, like, oh you, you're doing a bit. And I remember thinking, I'm gonna drown on this show. You should have you should have drowned out of spite, because that would have really you know, learned. Like, me. y'all will really fucking appreciate what's gonna happen when I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I told you that stupid thing about the straw- strawberry patch underneath the, d- the deep end of the pool. What is the strawberry patch? Well, my I went to my friend's, uh, my brother's friend's pool when we were young, and I, they said, hey, you know, this was uh, this pool was built over a strawberry patch. If you go down the deep end, you can smell it. Tried to kill you. Tried to kill me. And it, and I, I did go down there and smell it. No, you didn't. I absolutely 100 fucking percent did. And then they pulled my pants down and made and did point their fingers at my weenie and butt. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's take a break. Hi, it's Trixie and Katya. We are doing a live Bald and the Beautiful at Just for Laughs on Thursday, July 27th, and tickets are available now. Get yours at montreal.hahaha.com. That's montreal.hahaha.com. And we're back. Okay. <laughs> so what's going to happen now? Like, are you going to have like a brand new hip? Is it going to be like... No, I'm going to run this one into the ground ASAP. I'm addicted to the procedure. It's all about the procedure. Well, no, they no, say no. that about plastic surgery. Now no. you're going to want the other one. Oh, Barry, let me tell you something. This horrible. Uh-huh. Even when you have all the money in the world, which I don't, but I have some. I don't have to worry about medical debt. Let's say that. Right. Okay. That's a big thing. Which in America means filthy rich. Honey, sweetie, yeah. darling. Yes. I talked to this woman at the yard sale the other day who's like solidly middle class. She's like, eh, I can't afford it right now. Can't afford it right now. Anyway, so oh, they, it was just like, uh, I think the most troubling thing was quitting smoking. That was the most troubling Worse thing. Worse than the surgery? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not doing the surgery. I just lay down and, you know. Go. Yeah. But then. then the a freeloader. I, I listen. Get involved. Well, I had, I had written a note to the anesthesiologist. Please fuck me while I'm down. You wrote it on your body. I wrote it on the inside. Love that. <laughs> Wait, did they do the thing while you're awake that they're like, this leg, right? And they mark it? Yo, oh, yeah, yeah. Mark That's it all That's so up. crazy. All that standing between them opening up the wrong leg is a little magic marker. And it also like, it was like, Ooh. I was like, is there some, is we, are we making precise markings? No, it's all done on computers, bitch. Computers. He's looking at the computer screen like you doing Twitch. Wait a minute, so he's not like touching you? No, he's like he's like you on Twitch. He's got a Video whole gaming. yeah. He's got a whole like crowd of people's raising money. It's like crazy. He's like, hey guys, it's me. Welcome back to my channel yeah, today. Yeah, into this bag. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna replace this fucking faggot's hip. So that's why <laughs> everybody Nobody. I've told about it is like, why is she getting a hip replacement? She's so young. So it's kind of interesting because I've never thought of you as young. Mostly I know because you're is. old. I know. I know. But now that you got a hip replacement, everyone's like. But she's so young. I had to shop around. I had to shop around. That is very this true. This last uh, doctor, who I will not mention the name, um, he uh, he wouldn't give it to me because I was too young. And he said, "You're not. You're in the waiting room." And I was like, "What is this waiting room?" He's like, "Where you're not feeling enough pain yet." I was like, "Okay, do you want to stab me? I'll stab myself." Look, mm, mm, mm. bone on bone. It's like Mary just operate. What's it? What's the difference? What's the difference? What's Bones the difference? and all. So anyways, um, but it's, that's all set in the, uh, the, the bummer is I got to use this cane for just a little bit. And then I have the walker. Mommy should have seen me the walker. No, I saw. Where'd you get the tennis balls? From the tennis factory. 
I think it's funny that with how many people use walkers, people are living longer than ever. We haven't figured out technology beyond a yellow tennis no. ball. But, and they don't even provide them. They don't provide them. They give you this walker. You have to assemble it or whatever. And I'm like, oh, is something missing here? I was like, oh yeah, go grab some tennis balls. I was like, go grab some tennis balls. What, a CVS? You think I live you in- You want to go down to Dick's, Dick's Sporting, Sporting Goods? Goods? Hello, thank you. It was like, it's so bizarre. That is, yeah, why? Rain jackets, umbrellas. These technologies need to be streamlined. Tennis balls on walkers, mobility. Yeah, why are we still doing tennis balls? That seems like, well, this is a new thing, so we'll just use tennis balls for now. Decades later, why we was- got Martina Navratilova. She's about to use tennis balls on her walker. Yeah. Well, why are we still using um, tampons? Well, I'm using tampons. Oh. So that's for a different reason. That's the question. Why are you still using tampons? Oh, I can't cross my legs. Thank it's God. <laughs> I'm sick of seeing. It looks like two 7-Eleven chicken wings crossed over each other. The last two under the glass. Oh, sweating. there's pain. There's pain, Mary. I watched Eat, Pray, Love this morning and I cried. Ooh, fuck. I, I just, oh, yeah, baby. I have more exciting news. Okay, tell me. I went to Mexico for the first time. Arribaderci. That's Italian. I've never been. Did you love it? Mexico City. No. I went to Puerto <laughs> Vallarta. Oh, for the wedding. With the wedding. Yeah. And oh, I received a call from you and um, I won't repeat what you said, but it was very funny. Yeah, I just, I don't, well, the thing is, I've been to one Mexican city for three days, uh-huh. so I'm only an expert at three days in one city, staying at one in resort the whole country. Once. The whole country. But I felt shocked by many things. The number of times I was propositioned for um, the receiving end of sex work. You're a PV though, right? And the number of times I was, Molly, ecstasy, Molly, ecstasy. PV. Somebody yeah. said wild weed. I said, I don't even know what that is. Spice probably. Do you know what spice probably, Yeah, synthetic yeah. weed. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, spice zombies. Spice girls. They thought I was a spice girl. They wanted to sell me scary spice. That is scary spice. Why yeah. doesn't the media caught on to this kind of pun stuff to generate the hysteria? Anyways, I, go they ahead. could use a picture of Mel B yeah. next to some like cartoon uh like clip art of weed. Yeah, or like that um uh, Dave Chappelle from that uh coke that uh, crack character he has. Yes. Yeah, that'd be perfect. So I just was shocked and um also oh, I don't know, don't don't whatever me. I oh, they feel will. weird going on vacation and you don't have to like it. No, I feel weird going on vacation in a place where people make seven dollars a day. Oh mama, that was me on the cruise. That feels weird and Thank wrong. You. It feels Thank you. It feels they should be making Let me $5. take my <laughs> Caucasian American money and yeah. flaunt it while you offer me hand jobs. Like, yeah, it's tough. I, that felt weird and wrong to me. And I mean, we live in Hollywood, which is a living, breathing human rights violation. So we see people below poverty all the time. Yeah, but you just drive over them. I know. I just, <laughs> next time I go to Mexico, I think I need to strive for a more, a less resorty and more actually cultural experience. Tyra, I mean, Tyra, pull a Tyra. I masquerade as a Mexican for four months and you really get the picture. Oh yeah, picture. I'm gonna call Tyra and be like, can I borrow that sombrero you undoubtedly used in some yeah. photo shoot? In some NC4, uh, right. whatever, yeah. No, but, but everybody was so nice. Who was everybody? The staff. The staff. Everyone who worked at the Elmar, the right. resort. My gay, God. gay, gay. So gay, so nice. Okay. Best service ever. Do you know how many people are filming OnlyFans in the, the bed you slept in? How oh. much, like how much cum is caked into those sheets? Girl, Mateo said to me, do you know about the Ramada Inn on, Sun- on Santa Monica Boulevard? The Ram said, it in. I said, yeah, the Ram it in. Yeah. He said, he basically alluded to, it was not maybe on the same level as other Ramada Inns. I said, yeah, that's the one where tweakers get their eyeballs torn out and shit. Like, oh yeah. That's Texas chainsaw for gay oh, sex. Oh, violent. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, at Ram yeah, it in. He yeah. said, one of the towel racks was pulled off the wall. I said, yeah, probably with some twink dosed on spice. <laughs> like, I don't want to be a Turner. I don't want to be... I love that scary spice. I feel empowered yeah. and, and rooting for sex workers in any country. Sure. Yeah. But I just felt like, I don't know, I felt weird being on the receiving end of being offered sex services. That really never happens to me. You don't think you so deserve, I don't know how to feel about it. You think you're too attractive to need to hire hookers, no, 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 is what no, no, you're no. saying. I think they saw me who looks 70. And when David got up to go to the bathroom, and I was asked four different times if I wanted a massage. Just because he left okay. for 30 seconds. Now is the guy attractive. They're all gorgeous, of course. Then why not? Beautiful. I just, I, I don't want to do that. You could have a dinner for four people out in, um, uh, not PV, but um, Tijuana for under $20. I know. That's what I mean. It feels a little wrong. No, that's an economy. It's a little bit different when you're like getting off the boat in Aruba and people are like trying to like aggressively, you know, hawk their like puka shell necklaces because if they don't, they won't eat that day. 
that's, that's a little I mean. bit you know that's a little bit so but. was it incredibly beautiful yes the service the resort was my god so beautiful all the everybody was so nice buffet in the morning the food was turnt turntina the room to service the, the quesadilla room service the quesadilla well it's mexico so like the hotel quesadilla is better than any quesadilla the street food all of it the food every meal was like Did people this stay is the best late? food i've ever had Did people stay out late um people don't eat until about 4 a.m they don't eat until 4 a.m no and that's the only time they eat oh gee they're on the they're on the um the G diet. Yeah, they're on yeah, the G. Yeah, and you I mean you could probably get Ozempic at the pharmacy. You oh, know what I mean? Course. Like you can actually anabolic steroids. You go get your your T, your Ozempic, your um, your G, your G, your Viagra, and, and your um your Zannies. And your Zannies. Yeah, it was really um, Mexico. Well, I, again, I was in one city for four days, so, so I can't you, speak to Mexico. You're the ambassador now. Yeah, but staying in a gay area in a, in a resort town, I wasn't ready to be propositioned to so, sell drugs, or you know, I wasn't ready for that. It shocked me. It shocked me. People don't I walk up to me and ask me if I want to buy drugs. She, they it don't. shocked me. They're, they're like, "Hello, ma'am, would you like to purchase some drugs this evening?" What did they say? Molly, cocaine. No, I'll tell you exactly what happened. Okay, did they do they, the little? No, flick they would thing have like, card? let's say, um, a basically like a like a their wares. Let's say they're selling cabana hats. They have a bunch of hats on their head, hats all over. And they go, hey, hats, gloves, tchotchkes, weed, Molly. When they get without earshot. I love that. They're I like, love Molly, that. ecstasy, cocaine. G, so strong it'll kill an elephant. And then you go, no. And they go, okay, hats. <laughs> like they go back to pretending to sell whatever bracelets <laughs> or whatever. I love that. Fourth of July sparklers. Movado watch, Movado watch. Yeah. yeah. But it was Peach's Christ wedding. It was a lovely. Mary? I bet it was Mary? not corny. I'm gonna, I bet it was not, not corny. Not corny. The ring bearer was a child dressed as Michael Myers. Fabulous. And both grooms pretended to lose the ring, and then the Halloween theme started, and a Michael Myers this tall walked down the aisle. Oh, I see. Yeah, I saw With that on knife. Instagram. So it cute. Was he should have the... stabbed her in the, f the foot, though. That I know. Been it wasn't a real knife. I was like, come on. We can probably get one of those on the beach. People are selling yeah. stuff. Um, but then the whole ceremony, under 25 minutes. I'm going to cover my boner up a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> under 25 minutes. Let me just cover up and my boner was, real quick. But as, it was just like a short film. I laughed. I cried. It was so good. Mink stole officiated. Fabulous. She's so funny and glam. Icon. Then Peaches is saying, Peach, I mean, Peaches told this story about like, I was afraid to, you're going to cry. She was like, I was afraid to tell this guy who was from, who was so amazing. We were dating for months and I told him I was a writer and a producer, but I never told him I had to drag. And she told the whole story of telling him he had a drag and how he didn't care at all. And didn't eat, like, and I was like, my God, so many times in my life having to tell someone I do drag that I am sexually interested in or romantically interested is like terrifying. Yeah, because it's disgusting. Because it's disgusting. Yeah, it's gross. And Shameful. a turn off for many people. Yeah. And so, and then the food was good. And the dancing, it's all Peaches music, I'm sure. So it's like no Depeche one chicken Mode. Dance. No chicken dance. No, it's Depeche Mode, Sade, oh, nice. Sinead O'Connor. Oh, yeah, she's around my age. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love, I would love that. So it's all like aging floor. goths and queer people twirling. Mm, I love that. It was really fun. And, How long were you there for? Um... Three days. That's big for you. That's three days off of work. That was huge. Did I you didn't bring do your laptop? Anything. Yeah, but I didn't open it once. I didn't do any work. I, I was just in that. the hotel room going, so what do we do? Yeah. And so did, like, if, if I don't hear like checks cashing and, and dollar signs clinging, what, what, right. what, what, yeah. So I was just kind of confused, but. Uh, you get a massage, Mary. That's what you do. I'm scared. About why he's not going to. Well, I mean, he could. Do you know but, why I can't? Why? Because when someone that hot is offering me sex and there's money involved. The whole time I'm like, they're holding back puke. They're holding back puke. Okay. Just think about it. To them, I'm disgusted. No, 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 no. You have, it, you have it completely twisted up. I want you, I'm going to say a few names. Milton Berle. Uh, the, the corpse of Don Rickles. Uh-huh. Um, Tempest de Abraham Lincoln. Uh-huh. A Tempest de Jour after a ostrich mauling. Yeah. Um, the unsinkable Molly Brown. Uh-huh. Present day. Mm. Those are the kind of clients that they're used to. Right. Gray, shriveled, um... Maybe nice, maybe not, but cheap, nasty, disgusting dingleberries in their gray pubes. Uh huh. You lady are, G. You, lady G. Ladybugs. Lady yeah, bugs. You are basically like, um, what's her name? Stormy Daniels. Wow. Yeah. I see a hooker on the regular, not a hooker, a massage therapist, and we then we have sex. Uh huh. For money. Hard as hell. He probably does a little trimix in the kitchen when I'm not looking, but you I'll take me? it. He's got that shit hooked up to a compressor. Yeah, that's why he is. Always he's firing it up like a hot air balloon. <laughs> no, you notice he's looking past you at yes. like snuff porn. Do you, do you, 
of like his mom getting her head chopped off while she gets eaten out by a cricket. Oh, Gen Z. That's, Gen what, Gen, Z. that's what Gen Z wants. Gen Z doesn't want sex in movies. No, no they want they want their <laughs> they want their Ozempic um, ridden mom's head ripped off by a fucking cricket. Um, I, oh, let me show you the X-ray they gave me. I wanted, of course, the um, the joint. But right, they don't let you. Um, Why don't they let you keep? What are they going to do with the bone? Bones? I don't know. Probably the bone collector. Because they probably. chopped that femur bone. Whoa! Yeah. Looks official. It is. He's a celebrity guy. So it's actually a chainsaw. They put a chainsaw in my thigh. Now, who? That's supposed to be you. So, well, it, and it's an X-ray. It's oh, an that's why it kind of looks different. It's an x-ray. Yeah, that's why my nipples look kind of small because it was really cold in there. So you splurged on the anesthesiologist, but you kind of skimped on the x-ray technician. And the shoes. The yeah. shoes are pretty pitiful. Yeah. Yeah. I love getting x-rays. You do? Yeah, I love it. I love Isn't it so it? much. It scares me. I no, mean, the MRI, that's the scary one. The oh, do, yeah. do, 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 and you have to you have to maintain absolute stillness or else they'll like come on and hit you or something. It's crazy. Well, do you remember last year when I had that exhaustion episode where I thought I had brain cancer? Yes. I had to go get MRIs after that. And it was, a, it was a long time in a loud machine. It's horrible. Again, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, what was the other thing we were just talking about? Why has the technology improved? For, for MRIs? Yeah. Yeah. Why do they take it? Like they take um, a flashbulb photo. Stand still for 30 minutes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hear what? ye, hear ye. Ye will learn all about your, your terrible joint. Yeah. It's crazy. Have you been watching anything? Um, no, um, I had sex with David on the patio at the hotel. What? On the patio. It faced out to the ocean. No one could see us. We're on the top floor. It felt risky, even though absolutely no one could Don't see us. Don't you have sur surveillance cameras? But I was sort of playing it up. I was like blowing, I'm going to say blowing him. And, and I'm like looking over like, oh my God, what if we get caught? We're so far away from people, but I'm and playing no it like, oh my there. God, did yeah. you hear that? Is someone here? No one was there. That is so fucking funny. And we would know they were there because they'd look at me sucking a cock and, and start you'd throwing hear, bleh, bleh. Exactly. I had sex last night in my patio. With this leg? Uh, no, 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 no. We used the cane. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, were you feeling up to it sexually? Were you just like, hey, listen, I'm, I'm not going to be an active participant. I need listen. to be... I, I think for one night I can put away my oh. Shannon Miller jackhammer 35 minute nonstop pulverizing penis routine. Yeah. I just sat there and modeled like that, like Giselle. Yeah. No, no, but we got naked in my backyard. We did it outside. That's what I just told you. I didn't listen to that. <laughs> Great. I, I, can, I, can tell, I can tell this story next week too. <laughs> oh, good. I'll be fresh and free. So did you guys have full penetrative you... Congress outside? No. No, it's too much. No. Too many bugs and stuff. Yeah, it's but David. He just wants a blowjob so he can move on with his life. You know, love that. He's trying to get in and out. In and out. In and out. You like blowjobs? Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't want. No, I don't want to be. I don't want to tell stories out of school. Uh -huh. But there are some men who are blowing, blowing them as a school. commitment because it can take forty-five minutes. Yes. David is not one of those people. And also, yes, the dignity, the grace of like a quick finish, because then it's like, yeah, do this now. Scratch my nuts now. Now read me some Emily Bronte. You know, it's like what. I don't want to do all that. The best is when it starts out like, okay, also grab my balls. And then you're like, okay. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, grab my, tweak your nipple. Yeah, call my okay. mom. Call and my then, mom. Yeah, Tell yeah, her exactly yeah, yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. Eventually they're like, all right, pluck my eyebrows. She's like, dead. What? You got to type it. You got to type it. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's so, totally. All right. Uh, log into my phone. Use my face so ID and pay my Wells Fargo. <laughs> Overdrive my Bank of America. Please mortgage. do it. <laughs> oh, I'll say something else about Mexico. I should have learned more about pesos. Yes. It's very different than American money. It's so weird that the, the number, the quantity of pesos is so, so why don't they just round it down to zero? I don't get it. Two, I think something, maybe I could be wrong. 25 million I, pesos. I think 2,000 pesos is about a hundred bucks. So I was like, I couldn't tell. That's cool. I would ask people, how much is this? About, and they would say, and I would go, I still don't know what that means. How about 25 pesos? See, that's Isn't actually that that's actually not that bad of an exchange rate. Look up um, rubles for fuck's sake. That's is some, that Russia? That's some bullshit. Yeah, Russia and Ukraine got some big time like thousands of thousands of like for a candy bar. It's crazy. Rubles drag race. Rubles drag. Yeah. Exactly. Win rubles. Rubles. Yeah. May the best. Remember the game show Win Ben Stein's Money. Do you know he's a crazy person? He's what do a, you mean? He's a crazy. Um, he's a crazy. Um, conservative, no. a la Christy Swanson, a la no. Dean Cain. Yeah, yeah. And I'll never forget in Soap Dish, he said, 
Ariel should be raped by Father Corey. That's his one big line. Isn't that hysterical? I remember it for clear for clear eye or for for dry eyes. Dry yeah. clear eyes. That big booming monotone. Um, but so anyways, uh do you have you ever been to one of these or driven past one of these like crazy mega not mega churches, but Megan Trainer? Did you say Megan Trainer? I did. Wait, where? I thought you just said Megan Trainer. No, Trainor. no, 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 no. Have you driven um, past Megan Trainer? Yes, I have. <laughs> My, <laughs> um do you know those like they're called um one's called Mosaic. It's on the corner of La Brea in Sunset. It looks like... Is it a church? It's a church. But Mary, when I tell you, these people are hot. These youngers, these young well, ones are hot. Well, that's how they get you. Well, that's how they get each other. Oh, you think it's networking? I know it is. I went in one night. I remember this one church in Milwaukee wow. that was supposed to be like the young, cool church. They and their guitar. flyer was, would Jesus wear jeans to church? We're not like normal churches. We do things a little differently around here. I think he would. Yeah, so cut the crotch out and let his, let his balls hang low. Yeah. Yeah. I was just like... Jesus doesn't go to church. Yeah, Jesus is dead. But but Jesus, church happened after he died. Yeah. So he was never going to church. That's an irrelevant question. Right. They actually strung him up on a cross and tortured him to death. That's why we're going to church. Yeah. Jeans are not, yeah. Uh, but anyways, these people are sexy. They're looking cool. They're put together. Uh-huh. Yeah. What's going to happen then? Are you going to join? I've joined and um, I've got a long game brewing. I've got a long game room, but I, I knew there was like a straight thing because nobody knew who I was, not one person. And I tried to like, draw, I tried to like do little, you know, like, and may the best woman win. Nobody could catch on. Somebody came up to you this weekend and sometimes drag queens do, pe people do this. They go, oh, you know, let's say it's, I'm making this up, Bianca. They'd be like, oh, I know Roy. Oh yeah. And I go, okay, which is that. fine. I hate that. Good for you. But then they go, well, I know you as Brian because I know you through her. Yeah. And I go. That and person? I know you, and I know your socials one two six twenty eight forty three. I was like, why? But also, I can guarantee you, Bianca Del Real does not know my real name. What are you talking no. about? That that's that doesn't that's not happening. What do you call that? What do you call that? I don't know. I well, in some ways, it's sort of like, oh, we have a mutual friend. But what it feels like is, but we don't though. You should. I don't know. This Care is social. Good. Yeah, it's like, no, you didn't meet Bianca, and she told you that I'm her friend Brian. Yeah. That she, didn't happen. You didn't spend all night looking at my baby book with her. <laughs> I don't think. Do you have a baby book? I do still have it. <gasps> it's the only um doc. Uh, I look there's for three years. I was fat as a house and I cherished those years. Big uh -huh. chunky cheeks and a big gut. And I was so happy. That's all. What age? Nude too. For anybody's interest. You, know, you didn't wear clothes that. for three years. No, I wear the baby. What are you going to wear clothes for? Well, if you're for? fat enough, your parts get covered. That is true, but I also had a really long penis. So I went all the way down my thigh. <laughs> you had to tie it up with a cl uh, alligator clip. Did you ever, uh, what kind of clothes did you wear when you were uh, an infant? Hand-me-downs? Uh, yeah, my brother is five years older than me, so I got a lot of hand-me-downs. Hand-me-downs. Easy. Did you Easy. have to wear your brother's clothes? I wore my sister's clothes. She was younger than me. Your brother's younger than you? No, I wore my sister's clothes. My sister is younger than me. Okay. But your brother's older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dark hair. Dark hair. He's not bald. No. He's so what's got going the, on with so that? He has the McCook head. The McCook head is known. Um, it, the McCooks are known for giant heads, square jaws, thick, luscious hair that ain't going nowhere. Yeah, your brother has, your dad has hair. My dad has the same thing, except it's all gray. So what's going on with you? Um, I have my mother's side. Thin, and your mom's villainous bald. lift. Yeah, thin, horrible hair, emotional problems. Uh -huh. We like... We love to like walk fast. We get out of the car before it even stops. We tuck and roll at the mall. It's great. Oh my God. I'm not used to traveling with David Silver anymore. Is he slow? No, 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 no. He's fast. And, and, you know, I'm in my Crocs and I have the strap around the back. I'm in four wheel drive. You know, I'm ready to go. <laughs> David Silver? Zoom. You would think he's on one of those fucking moving walkways. <sighs> he's at the airport. We yeah. are two and a half hours early. We've already gotten through security. David is borderline sprinting I love to the it. gate. I, I said, love it. I said, I love you. You need to relax. No. I said, I'm not like getting winded getting to this gate. But he's just you. going to the gate though to hang out? Yeah, there's something in him like the gay travelers oh, it's like, are like um, to paranoia. speed walking time speed walking. Oh, I'm speed walking to like the Gucci store, to the pretzel store. I'm, I'm making laps. I got things right. to do. The Des Delta Sky Lounge, taking a shower. Right. Sometimes too. Um, but David, I was traumatized speeding. I told you, David's him. one of those people that for some people, when they fly, they need a Bloody Mary. So a lot of people flying is like, they, it's like a Pavlovian. 
they get on a plane and they go bloody mary i, I don't think, know what it is i think it's just gonna be getting drunk well no yeah people swear that bloody marys taste different on planes they swear oh, no no the altitude it could be they Absolutely swear they go be. i never drink them but on planes i always drink them yeah so david he's watching you know his little housewives on an ipad this big this close to his face he's got his bloody mary vibing but now is he saying that because of the altitude he needs six little things of vodka instead of two because that might be suspicious no because some you do get drunk faster on planes yeah any yeah altitude yeah altitude right yeah remember Attitude. aspen remember aspen like i've never been to aspen oh god damn it well the, the altitude like is like you have to cook with different ingredients you get winded i do know about that oh it's wild Baking especially oh yes you know, we got to reinstate Gay Ski Week because I would love to go to that. I know. They should do it in Park City, Utah. 600 inches of snow this week, this year. 600 inches of snow. I'm booked for Salt Lake City Pride. You're going to love it. Well, I've been to Salt Lake City, but I've never been there in the winter. Park City, 12,000 foot elevation. I checked mine at home, 650 foot elevation. Wow. Um, have you seen me on any billboards? I sure the fuck did when I was driving to the hospital in Santa Monica. That is huge. Did you consider that a good omen? I well, you had a hammer. Uh, um, what was it? Um, you, oh yeah, it's like a hammer in the picture. Uh, a mallet. I yes. was like, that's yeah. I'll take that. Boom. Beautiful solo featurette. Can you believe it? And not even. Um, it was all about you, not really about the network. For a show I filmed two years ago, Max. It just said they're Max. not even promoting a new show. I was like, all right. They didn't even tell me. I started getting pictures sent to me. I was like, it's fabulous. What? I love it. But don't you think you'd tell me? I was like, no, they got bigger. They have a uh, bigger fish to unmanageably fry at those. Networks. Well, the big merger. What do you think is going to happen with the writer's strike? Mary, they, so I talked to Katie. She has to be on the picket line every day or else she'll get booted from the guild. Yeah. Is that real? Yeah. So you know what I've been doing? A lollipop. I've guild. been doing my little, um, Gail Weathers. So I'll show up in costume. Um, and then there's three, there's the Paramount, there's Netflix, and then there's another one, I forget. And um, someone tried to make a little like a uh, dating service thing, which I thought was a little weird because that's- At know. the picket line? Yeah. So like two birds, one stone, like- You hey, fuck somebody, fuck me at the picket line. Well, is it like, I'm sure at these- Misconnections. I'm sure at these, what do you call it? A picket line? Yeah. I'm sure that you will see people you know. Mm -hmm. Kind of a romantic story. We met um, protesting. He spilled a huge- like thing of coffee on me and third degree burns, but yeah. yeah, the signs are really clever. That's what's fun about the writers being behind this. Well, do you, Mary? We don't have enough time to get into it, but, but the Chat GPT AI thing is it will curl your hair. What does GPT stand for, though? It's Great Pussy Training. Is it GPT? It's Greek Pussy Training. Sorry, GPT. Chat, Chat GPT. GPT. It's an AI um, program that can say, "Hey, I could type in write a script where Trixie Mattel." Um, Treat, never interrupts me and treats me with the utmost respect in her um, character vein. And I'll do that. And you think even chat GPT could do that? Greek pussy, that think? Greek pussy talent. <laughs> I just wonder, I mean, to be honest, you and I have- They're already using it, Mary. You and I have worked at Netflix. Some of those shows, I would prefer that some machine wrote it. You it know would what be I mean? a vast improvement. And also what they're trying to do, honestly, this is what they're trying to do. They're trying to write it into people's contracts that they can use AI and then hire independent contractors to come in one or and two punch days. It up. Make it a little human. This doesn't make any sense. Just punch it up and then go home. Fucking diabolical. Well, I keep seeing tweets about like, hey, I'm a writer on, I don't know, Blackish or like a, a show like that that's huge. Or Abbott Elementary, and yeah. I'm not getting any fucking residuals. And hey, I'm the writer of the most watched episode. Yeah. Today I got a residual check for 0 0.01 cents. It's crazy. It's so crazy. I mean, I don't pretend to know about this stuff because, mm. you know, it's a lot more nuanced than you and I just chiming in. I mean, we mostly do unscripted. So mm. like, but if the world changes with streaming, then the way people make money and get paid and compensated and credited has to change with it. Yeah. I don't think these people are asking for, what they're asking for is frankly so overdue. Right. And well, crazy. Well, it's like uh, Gwyneth said, islands in the stream. That is what you are. But let's say you were, wrote on The Office. Okay. And The Office moved to Netflix during COVID. Mm. During COVID, The Office was banging. It was the most watched show. Mm. If you wrote an episode, one of the best episodes on The Office that gets watched all the time on oh, Netflix. I wouldn't be talking to you. I'd be bathing in my little cash bucket. But they don't have money. Who? The writers. Ugh. Because they're like not compensated fairly. Oh, well, see, that's... I keep thinking I get residuals from even stupid shows that I was bad in. Oh, I get... 
my my American Horror Story residuals are sometimes like thirty cents. Yeah, that's not true. Sometimes they're usually about no, they're good. They're like crazy. Sometimes they're like in the thousands. They are. Yeah. For what room room? Uh, 104 playing house. Um, anything on Warner Brothers or you were on playing house? Mm-hmm. I was the big titted. Um, I forget what I did, but yeah, I get. I, I just got to check in the mail the other day. That was only like hundreds, but it's it's significant. What's gonna happen when this Gaga Joker movie comes out? The things I'm already clenching for in the universe, one of them is I'm already clenching for the, the, the kink at pride discourse and I'm already clenching for the, the, the Oscar campaign of that Joker movie. I mean, just give her the damn Oscar already. I, I feel like the Oscars are so corny, tired and played out. We should just do something else. Like the fact o- that there's not a comedy character category or that the horror keeps getting snubbed or overlooked. I think they should do American Ninja Oscars. Whoever's best, you know, whoever gets through the gauntlet wins the Oscar. Honestly, and then it'll just be like Jason Momoa or like and other Jessica really Chastain. fit people. Yeah. <laughs> Jessica Chastain, like the Hunger Games, standing over, um, standing over Meredith Baxter, Bernie's dead body, <laughs> being like. <sighs> but there'll be handicaps. Like Melissa McCarthy will just have to like do like one of those little um, rope uh, ladders, and everybody else will get daggers thrown at him. Right, or like Hong Chao in a tug of war with Danny DeVito, drunk. drunk. No, the woman who plays, the woman who plays the Scarlet Witch. Oh, Elizabeth Olsen. Elizabeth Olsen, Olsen, Hong Chow at a chili cook-off for the Oscar win. Oh, see, so just skip the whole ceremony. I want to watch that. Yeah. And that's entertainment, folks. Something humorous happened last night. David does not handle spicy food very well. Really? Yeah, he gets very... Diarrhea? Sweating. Is okay. David in Mexico? What was the temperature wet. like? 85 and humid as hell. But water. Wet. Everyone's this water. Wet. Me, water. him, everyone we know, everyone's face is wet with sweat. But see, I love that. It's an even playing field. Yeah. Did you go in the water? Oh, yeah. Did you drink it and get diarrhea? No, everybody warned me about drinking the water. But where does the ice come from? The same water. You have to drink the... If you have you have your sex in the city moment. You get out of your Mexicoma by shitting your pants. I was with somebody who got sick. I also had... I mean, you know, no drinking has been pretty easy for me mm-hmm. at a gay resort in Mexico. I wanted that tequila. What dish. else do you do there? I wanted that tequila. Yeah. I didn't have the tequila. Oh, I forgot to tell you the craziest part. What? You did Molly? Let's take a break. <laughs> no. You're not supposed to bring drugs to Mexico. No shit. They're really cheap there. You buy them there, bring them back. No, but I heard from a reliable source that whenever you buy drugs off the street, they're fake. Which they are often, but they're in Amsterdam. Because I heard the marijuana in Mexico is like horrible. Oh, we'll just bring you a little Cali bud. That's why I just did Coke. No, yeah. <laughs> no. Um, but I didn't didn't try to bring drugs to Mexico. But what happened was I had a swimsuit. Somebody came to the motel last week and they tipped me. Somebody's staying at the motel and they go, I have a cannabis brand. I brought you a joint that has cow print on it. So you boofed it up your ass and went through security. I, I said, oh, thank you. I don't smoke while I'm working, but I'll save it. I put it in my swimsuit pocket. Then I get to pata barata. I open the swimsuit. I reach in my pocket. Broke down palace. I find the weed and I go, oh my God, David, if they had found this, I probably would have been in trouble with yet another government's They would have done this. Oh, you. No, I heard they take Thailand. Money. Thailand. I baby. heard they go, well, you can come back to Mexico for your court appearance or you can just give me a hundred bucks. That's what I heard. Which happens. is really easy. That's great. That, that's bunch. That's preferable. Red tape, all that time wasted. You just don't want to be in the broke down palace situation in in Bangkok. I should have been like, oh, you think I'm afraid to come back to Mexico? I have a timeshare. And then I flip my hair. But <laughs> and a bunch of joints come out I of flip my, I flip my hair and it's a wig and it falls off. And then I fall on the ground. You you were a drug mule. On accident. This is really concerning because I knew you would well, quit I had the, drinking. I had, the, I had the eight ball up my pussy, but that was on purpose. Yeah. You, you quit drinking and then, you know, it's a, it's a toke every once in a while. And all of a sudden you're a full blown drug mule. How many keys, kilos of heroin you got in your keister right now? But my life flashed before my eyes. It's one joint. I know, but if anybody gets in big trouble, it's I'm like, with my luck, it yeah, would have yeah, been yeah, me. You would, would have been the Martha. They would have made an example out of you like Martha Stewart. Yeah, and the joint was what you call a dog walker. It was one of those like one inch long ones, very small. But I'm just saying, oh I would have been the one to go to federal prison or something. Damn. So I was scared. I was scared and I told, I just was, I was, I felt lucky and blessed that I didn't get found out because it was not intentional at all, at all. At all. But never you gotta be is, careful. You gotta be is. careful with no. like. Well, the hard narcotics, especially. Well, I remember one time I was in, is not Israel, Ireland, different place. <laughs> and 
I was at the airport and I was going through immigration. They were like, you have a bottle of water in your bag, but they're all Irish. So like, but it, but you know, <laughs> and I go, I don't think so. And they open my bag and there's a complete full sealed EG, yeah. bottle of rum in my carry on. Oh, but that's and not illegal like, though, you know right? What? We had a good party last yeah. night at the gig. <laughs> That's not, it's not, it's not technically water, it's piss water, but yeah, yeah. you can have a swig if you want. Oh my God. And I turned well, to Natasha Leone, who I was traveling with, and she was like, well, got to give it up. And she pulled a tampon, soaked the sky vodka out of her pussy. And yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, I think that's good. I think it's great. You got a Congrats. birthday coming up? A birthday? August. Oh, that's right. August. I'm going to the Glad Awards this weekend. Where Trixie Motel is nominated and I really hope we win. <sighs> but I've lost a lot of things in my life. David really wants to win, yeah. and I don't know if I'm ready because I know he's going to hit me. No, if we don't win, he's going to hit me. Let's hope he hits you with the trophy. But I think we're going to be in front of the executives and stuff, and he's going to haul off and hit me, and I'm going to go. You guys don't know him, you know. Like you have to win. Throw that motherfucker a bone. I'm up against. We're here. It's it's that's Brendan Fraser in the whale. I want my well, life to mean something. You know the what I mean. The tone of that title is a little bit different now. We're, we're here. here. I think we should do a show called We're Also yeah. Here. Yeah, How about, we're over there. Yeah, we're over there. We're we trying to help people, but not at the expense of inconveniencing we'll ourselves. We'll be here if anything happens to you. That's how about that. Yeah. Could you imagine you and I show up at a woman's house as like a recent divorcee and she's like, I'm just trying to get my groove back. And we're like, have you tried color contacts? Yeah. The Halloween store has blue contacts. Let's get you really high. <laughs> now, <laughs> leave we, you on the side of the road. Yeah. yeah, we, yeah. We, we thought you could use some microdermabrasion. We don't mm. like have that yeah. budget. So I have some sandpaper. Yeah. We're going to do um, a, a thumbtack facial and we're just going to pat it. Really hard. Yeah. Glue on toenails. Oh, I love glue on toenails. I know you do. Baby. We well, don't have any nails, so we're using corn chips. Lacquered corn chips, just like mommy used to do. Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye.